our diagram is progressing nicely. In this lesson, we will see how to delete and insert smart shapes using its inbuilt intelligence. Let us look at the original sketch one more time. And on the right side of the decision box, there is a process that requires the system to send an error message to the user. Those of you who are very familiar with flowchart diagrams and its conventions might have noticed that in my flowchart diagram, I have used the wrong shape for this process. Let us return to our diagram and repair this mistake. And in this process, you will see some more intelligent features of smart shapes. Now, the correct shape that I want is called as message to the user. And you can see that it is not present in this list of the basic flowchart shapes. To get more flowchart shapes, I will click on more shapes. Here you will see a large array of domains from which you can select more shapes. I will select further from flowchart and this opens much more options. I know the shape that I want is in the miscellaneous flowchart shapes. When you explore your shapes domain more and more, you will also get very familiar where the shapes you will need most will be located. Now, a new tab has been added for me with a whole lot more of flowchart shapes that I can use in my diagram. I am going to scroll down until I find the shape that I am looking for. Message to the user is located. And there it is. Now, I will drag the shape onto my diagram. I will bring it right over the connector. You can see the handles of the connector get highlighted green. I will just drop this in place now and voila. Smart Shape Intelligence has interpreted my action correctly and accommodated the new shape into place. To delete the earlier shape, I will just have to select it and press the delete key on the keyboard and the shape is removed. Now you can notice that the connector arrow hasn't deleted itself but has made an intelligent guess to redraw itself. This type of intelligence is the reason why these shapes are now called smart shapes. Earlier versions of Visio did not have these features built in and so editing diagrams required you to do a lot of these tasks manually and meticulously.